This is code.org, CS Discoveries, or Computer Science Discoveries. I'm working on Unit 2, which is Web Development, Lesson 4 of that, which is Headings, and we're on Level 8, Problem Solving, Problem Solving Process for Programming. Let's see what we have. The Problem Solving Process for Programming. Define. Read the instructions carefully to ensure you understand the goals. Rephrase the problem in your own words. Identify any new skill you are being asked to apply. Look for other problems you've solved that are similar to this one. If there is starter code, read it and understand what it does. And that's essential. When they start you off with code, don't just start attempting to solve or do whatever they're asking. Make sure you understand what is around it. Because programming and computers and all of that, it, it's not going to work. Um, hodgepodge together. It needs to flow and it all needs to work together for a computer to be able to read through and understand it. Now prepare. Write out an idea in plain English or pseudocode. Sketch out your idea on paper. List what you already know how to do and what you don't yet. Describe your idea to a classmate. Review similar programs that you've written in the past. So write out your idea in plain English or pseudocode. Pseudocode means maybe not in technical HTML or in technical code, but just kind of explaining um, in a simplistic way what you want the computer to do. So maybe for a paragraph, you would just write paragraph colon and then kind of explain what it was. You don't necessarily have to know all the code that you would need. And then sketch it out on paper as well. A simple drawing can really help with that. Try. Write one small piece at a time. Test your program often. Use comments to document what your code does. Apply appropriate debugging strategies. Go back to the previous steps if you get stuck or don't know whether you've solved the problem. Yes, and we'll be doing a lot of debugging in the future um, as we learn more and more info. Now, reflect. Compare your finished program to, define, to the defined problem to make sure you've solved all aspects of that problem. Ask a classmate to try your program Note the places where they struggled or exhibit confusion. So where they're um, having difficulties, you really want to note that because you want it to be as smooth as possible. Or where your site doesn't make sense to them, note that. You want your site to be as straightforward and functional as possible. Ask a classmate to read your code to make sure that the document is clear and accurate. Try to break your program to find types of interactions or input that you could handle better. Identify a few incremental changes that you could make in the next iteration. So we haven't had as much direct code experience, especially since we're working with HTML right now, which is a markup language and not an actual programming language. But regardless, these processes are good and they're going to be used throughout, whether you're building websites or coding the next big app. So it's good to keep them in mind. With that being said, let's move on to level nine.